Chapter 6 An Introduction to Scratch Programming Learning Outcomes Concept of Program and Programming Introduction to Scratch Components of the Scratch Window Opening a New Project Creating a New Sprite Using Paint Editor Adding a New Sprite on the Stage Adding a New Backdrop on the Stage Saving a Project Opening a saved project. Closing Scratch. Introduction. In your previous class, you learned about the stepwise thinking to solve any problems, especially by using a computer. A program is a set of instructions given to a computer to perform some specific task. The language used to write these instructions is called a programming language and is also known as Codes. A CPU reads the result or output on the screen. Programming refers to the process of writing a program using a programming language so that it may be executed by a computer. The person who writes these programs is known as a programmer. Introduction to Scratch A Scratch is a free multimedia programming language used to create interactive stories, games, animations, music and art by simply dragging and dropping of instruction blocks. It was designed and developed by the lifelong kindergarten research group at the MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology Media Lab. Scratch is a programming tool that can be used by students, teachers, scholars, and parents for science and mathematics projects, presentations, simulations, experiments, etc. Do you know, the latest version of Scratch is 2.0, which can be downloaded from www.scratch.mit.edu or http colon double slash scratch.mit.edu slash scratch to download. Features of Scratch Programming Language there are many computer programming languages that can be used to give instructions to computers. Scratch is an example of one such programming language with the following facts and features. It is easy to learn and use. It's created for children to understand the basics of computer programming. It can be accessed online as a tool or can be downloaded for free. It can be used to create games, draw pictures, make presentations, and so on. It is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux operating systems. Starting Scratch To start Scratch, follow the given steps in Windows 7 and Windows 10 respectively. Starting Scratch in Windows 7 Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. Click on All Programs. Click on Scratch 2 to start. B. Starting Scratch in Windows 10 Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. From the Start menu, click on All Apps and scroll through the application list until you get Scratch 2. Step 3. Click on Scratch 2 to start. You can also open Scratch by double-clicking on the Scratch shortcut icon on the desktop. The Scratch window appears on the screen. Components of the Scratch window Title bar Title bar is used to display the title of the application. In this case, Scratch 2 Offline Editor will be displayed. Menu bar Menu bar is used to select options that are available on Scratch. It displays only four options. File, Edit, Tips and about. Out of this, file and edit displays some menu of options. It also contains various options that help to do work in Scratch. Duplicate button is used to create the copy of sprite, costumes, sounds, blocks or scripts. Delete button is used to cut the sprite, costumes, sounds, blocks and scripts. Glow button is used to make the sprite bigger. Shrink button is used to make the sprite smaller. Block help is used to open a help window providing information about blocks.
Sprite. A sprite is a small cartoon character present on the stage of the Scratch window. Scratch has many built-in sprites which you can add or remove from the project. It is used to perform all the actions in a Scratch program. The default sprite in Scratch is an orange cat. Stage. The white area where the sprite moves is called the stage. Script area. The black gray area on the right of the block list is called the script area, where the blocks are dragged and placed to create a script. Script area also has zoom tool at the right bottom corner that allows you to zoom in and zoom out the blocks in the script area. Script. Script is a set of instructions containing blocks of codes. Blocks palette. Instructions are given to the sprite with the help of blocks of the block palette. It allows you to drag blocks into the script area. So, as you drag a block, a copy of it follows the mouse until you drop it into the script area. The blocks can be differentiated from each other by their names and colors. The block palette contains 10 categories of blocks. First, motion blocks. They control the sprite's movement. It appears in blue color. Looks blocks. It helps to change the appearance of the sprite. It appears in purple color. Sound block controls the sprite's sound. It appears in pink or magenta color. Pen block draws objects on the stage and appears in green color. Data block stores and accesses data. Events block executes each script created by the user. They are color-coded as dark mustard. The most commonly used blocks under the events category is when click block. When this block is on the top of a stack of blocks, the actions of the blocks get executed when the green flag on top of the stage is clicked. Control block. It controls the script and appears in light mustard color. The most commonly used block under control category is repeat block which runs the blocks inside it a specific number of times. Sensing block Sensing block is associated with sprites and the stage detecting condition. Operator's block deals with many mathematical functions within the projects. It appears in light green color. More blocks are the blocks that hold custom procedures for a selected sprite. Remember, the blocks with rounded top can only be placed at the beginning of the block's stack. B. Stage has the following buttons on top. Presentation mode to present the project on the full screen. Green flag to start running the project. Step button to end the project. C. New sprite buttons. New sprite buttons are present at the bottom right corner of the stage. It has different buttons and each one is used to add a new sprite on the stage in a different way. This button to choose a new sprite from the library. This button to paint new sprite in the paint editor. This one to upload sprite from file. And this camera button to take new sprite from camera. Opening a new project. To open a new project in Scratch and to move, turn the sprite on the stage. Follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the File menu. Step 2. Click on the New option. The new project appears on the Scratch window. Step 3. Select the Motion Block menu from the Blocks palette. Step 4. Drag and drop the Move block into the script area. Step 5. Click on the numbered area and type 100 steps in place of 10 steps. Step 6. Now drag and drop turn clockwise block into the script area. Change the angles 15 to 90. Step 7. Double click on the block to check the result which will reflect on stage. Remember, the move block can also take negative value in which the sprite moves in the opposite direction. 
To find out what a block does, just right click on it and then select help from the pop-up menu. To remove the block, right click on the block in the script area and choose delete option. While creating a program in scratch, there is no need to type any command. Rather, there are blocks of computer instructions that you have to drag and drop together to create an entire program. How to draw a colored line? To draw a colored line, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the File menu. Step 2. Click on the New option. Step 3. Select the pen block. Step 4. Drag and drop the pen down block into the script area. Step 5. Drag and drop the set pen color to block into the script area. Step 6. Select the motion block. Drag and drop the move block into the script area. Change the number 10 into 100 from the number area. Step 7. Arrange all the blocks one after the other like a jigsaw puzzle. Step 8. Double click on the block to run the project. Creating a new sprite using Paint Editor. To draw your own sprite in the Paint Editor, follow the given steps. Step 1. Right click on the original sprite Orange Cat and choose Delete option to remove it from the stage. Step 2. Click New Sprite button from the Sprites pane to open Paint Editor. The Paint Editor appears on the right-hand side of the window. Step 3. Use the tools to draw a new sprite in the drawing area and color it using desired colors. Note, the stamp block under the pen block is used to create a duplicate copy of the sprite on the stage. When it is used on the script, the sprite produces a bitmap image of itself which is stamped onto the stage. Remember, make sure the blocks snap together, otherwise they won't work as one script. Adding a new sprite on the stage. By default, the cat sprite appears on the stage. You can delete and add a new sprite also on it from the New Sprite section located at the bottom right corner of the stage. Let us learn how to add a new sprite by following the given steps. Step 1. Right click on the cat sprite and choose Delete option to remove it from the stage. Step 2. Now choose Sprite from Library button. The Sprite Library dialog box opens up. Step 3. From the Category panel, select the desired option, for example, Things. Step 4. From Library panel, select the required option, for example, Bells. Step 5. Click on the OK button. The stage area now shows the Bells sprite in place of Cat sprite. Step 6. From different blocks, click and drag the desired blocks to create code. For example, code 1 for the sprite bells, code 2 for sprite butterfly, code 3 for the sprite cat, code 4 for dinosaur, etc. Adding a new backdrop on the stage. Every time you open the scratch editor window, the cat sprite appears on the blank white stage. The blank white area on the stage is called backdrop. A backdrop is similar to a background. Just like you add sprites on the stage, you can add a backdrop on the stage. The stage button is located at the lower left corner of the stage. The new backdrop section has four buttons. Let's learn how to add a new backdrop to the stage by following the given steps. Step 1. Click on Choose Backdrop from Library button from the New Backdrop section. The Backdrop library appears. Step 2. Select the required background. Step 3. Click OK button. The new backdrop appears on the stage. Saving a project. To save a scratch project, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the File menu and then click Save option. The Save Project dialog box appears. 
In step 2, type the name in the file name box and finally click on Save button. The Scratch 2 project file will be saved with the extension .sprite second or .sprite2. Opening a saved project. To open an already saved project, follow the given steps. First, click on the file menu and click the open option. The open project dialog box appears. Step 2. Select the desired project from the list and click on the open button. The selected project gets opened. Closing Scratch After a project is completed, you need to close the Scratch window. To do this, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the File menu. Step 2. Click on Quit option or click on the Close button locked at the upper right corner of the Scratch window.